Hello, friends. There have been sporadic technical problems that have prevented us from starting this, the second episode of King Arthur Pendragon 5.2, The Great Pendragon Campaign. I am your narrator, AP Gaming Real. I am joined, of course, by Big Spoon playing Kendrick. Gleemo playing Heward or Howard or Herod. We'll figure out which one it is shortly. And we'll just change it every episode. It'll I, be yeah. the meme. Listen, do you? I did that before at a time of Total Warfare. I just had a dude have a different accent every time. Uh, and Grim Dark James playing Owain, who you can see at the bottom of the screen resubbing, just like Glimo and Big Spoon. All three players trying to stylize on me real quick. They're doing. They, you can't see it, but beneath the desk, they're all dabbing right now. Um, <laughs> starting, they're starting a movement, so you too should resubscribe if you. Uh, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Or, or if you uh, have you a Twitch, you can <laughs> if you've got if you've got Amazon Prime, you can you can subscribe with Twitch Prime for free. No, it's it's called Twitch Gaming now or something. Prime oh, it? Gaming. Okay. It's well, called Prime yeah. Gaming now. We have to get the the wording right, or the AI algorithm bot will get upset with us. Um, you should know that I don't normally launch shows or do any show broadcasts in December, but James and Glimo were weirdly insistent that we do one in December, and I've now found out it was specifically so that Glimo could appear on camera with James, and then we just, we haven't showed up until today, the 7th day of January 2023. Uh, to recap, our nights are now nights. That's most of what happened. There was some rules kerfuffling. My apologies for that. I am still learning 5.2. The hunt rules are never clear, but we're, we might get another hunt in here, so I'll have another attempt to botch that. And we are going to continue to slowly add systems in. So for today, we will be using the Mere Creed Creek tutorial battle system so if you are expecting book of battles or the full battle system put your notebooks away you're not getting that i'm sorry you're not getting the full battle system we're going to introduce systems slowly i'm going to be honest with the audience i think this is what kills pendragon games is people who show up with four additional rule books and the full 5.1 or 2 rules and are just like Let's get through the first year. And six sessions down the line, they've got four beehives and like 12 horses. And everyone's like, God, I'm so bored. Uh, I'm exaggerating, but that's because I'm a storyteller. Speaking of stories that I'm telling, we find Kendrick. Oh my God, Glimo. Just give me what you want your canon character name to be. I still want to call him Harold. <laughs> uh, yeah, Her Her Herod's fine. Herod. Herod. We find Kendrick, Herod, and Owain sitting at the last table of knights, as far away from their Earl Roderick, Count of Salisbury, as one can get in the castle of Sarum, as the newest knights. And the least glorious, they lack the seniority the British system would continue to hold up through all the way through that magazine where they publish captains in throughout the Napoleonic naval era. <sighs> One day, they might be sitting further up this table, but that is not this day. The we're still at the knight's table, though. You still yeah. are at the knight's table, and you are now officially recognized as lords, which provides you with many benefits. Uh, chief among them, you may now dispatch the king's justice in all but capital cases. Uh, you are recognized as full, leal owners of your manors. And if you were to gain additional manners, you could infife knights to yourself. That said, some of you are on the outlook of intrigue. Some of you are the subject of intrigue. And some of you are just really trying to buy a hammer. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I wanted to give all of you a chance to get used to this court here in Sarum before we move to the uh, Pentecostal feast of King Uther. Because that's the big boy's table. 
almost all of the famous knights of Britain will be there, and I would hate for you to embarrass yourself. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> of course. Many <clears throat> of the ladies eligible and not for marriage throughout Salisbury have come to celebrate your elevation. Equally so, their husbands or those who are also pursuing them have shown up to show their loyalty to the ideals of the Brotherhood of Salisbury or to Earl Roderick, who has some vested interest in you, knights whose fathers and grandfathers served his family well. Let's talk about what's on the table in front of you. A fresh roasted ham with Mm. a giant juicy apple in its mouth? We've got all sorts of scones. I realize this may not be period appropriate, but there's just scones on scones on scones, okay? Jams, butters, people are just passing it around, and a particularly bitter beer that all the knights are insisting will put hair on your chest and are making sure this particular keg of beer finds its way to your end of the table over and over again. Somehow, many of them aren't drinking it. It makes its way to you. Magical. I know. How could this be if it's so good? Friends, plots, plans, discussions, contemplations between yourselves, please. And if you have any questions for me about what this room looks like or what's going on here. Yes, yeah, so this is a this is a feast, right? It is it is a feast celebrating the three of you and you being raised to knights. So uh, I, I think, think uh, you got, you got. I was say, I think uh, since we're all sitting at the same table, um, Kendrick will uh, bring up. Uh, it says I've I've been approached by a merchant by the name of Gropsis who has, um, I guess, uh, approached me for a loan of uh, some libra, as he is uh, preparing for a trip down through the continent down to, uh, I believe he said it was Rome. I was wondering if either of you know anything about this man. I've not heard of him, and I know that that the three of us are all pagans, so this is not an issue for us, but our lord is Christian. And I think from, from what memory usury is against the teachings i don't know whether he did bring that up yes by lending him money whether or not we you put yourself in in roderick's uh specifically no one would fault you if you were to loan money it will make people jealous and envious but it is no crime any Mm -hmm. more than not being a christian is a crime sure First off, do you have what he's asked for? I do have a um, a small amount of uh, money stashed away. Would it beg you to loan it to him? Uh, No, but I wouldn't have any money until the harvest comes in. So, AP, how, how how is the harvest looking this year? That's a great question. It is, however, before Easter, so the harvest has probably not even been planted yet. Okay. So there's there's no there's no the, prognostications the other, to the the other the... answer to your question is that's a winter phase question. So, <laughs> 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 however, uh, you know, he did uh, he did some fancy moving on the, his uh, counting machine and uh, said he, he could get me a return of substantial margins. Was that, I, I was believe that, was, was that three times? Triple, you yeah, tri- yeah. Tri- he, could, he could triple my money, and uh, I believe he would return here in two years. Awful so, long time to be penniless. Well... 
I mean, God's God's grant us a good harvest. I, I won't be penniless in the fall. And who knows what uh, what I can get up to in the meantime. Six I may, months I may, you wouldn't be able to buy your big hammer if I, it I may, suddenly I may, comes around. I may, I may take a wife and, and earn a dowry. Mm. I, I think that it's like any gambling. Don't gamble more than you can afford to lose. If if you can afford to give in the Libra, then the the return is is positive. But if it's gonna if it's gonna broker you, then I think that the risk is too high. But I mean, this is this is your money. And what do you say, Herod? Six months is an awful long time to go with empty pockets. You find yourself suddenly lusting after a hammer in that time, then it would uh, might have some problems. Would he would he take a lesser amount? Uh, that I don't know. Um, if he, I'm going to let's see, I'm going to roll reckless versus prudent. Oh, okay. All right. Tell Let's me, see. tell me why first. What are we, what so are we aiming for? I've, I've, I've gotten. So, so I feel like I've gotten v- very prudent advice from my two companions. However, I feel like uh, Kendrick really wants, to, really wants to uh, get, you know, three, three Libra in two years, uh, and you know, and do, do something that his uh, uh, Christian brethren cannot. Um, is that? Second part, how important is that to you? I'm curious. Um, I'd say he's not so much. Um, like he he doesn't he doesn't dislike Christians, but he does see them as uh, encroaching on okay uh, traditional the British always. soil. Yeah. Okay, Tolkien, calm down. <laughs> So, uh, alright, I'm gonna, they're both tens, so. Ironic, given that he himself was a Christian. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to it seem you act recklessly, sir, according yes. to these rules, I will mm-hmm. give you a check in reckless as well, because I think it's okay. funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, may I, may say, I have a quick, I'll say, you go ahead. You go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, he says, uh, well, brothers, I, I value your advice, however, I think the the uh, gains are are too too much to pass by. Uh, so, thank you for your advice, and I will seek out Gropsis uh, on the morrow. Then I wish you all luck. May may your coffers be filled. May I have a quick out of character sidebar here? Sure. So, so I discovered I'd learned today that the YouTube videos with the highest CPM or the highest return rate on dollars paid per per thousand views uh between eight minutes and an hour long and primarily revolve around financial market topics so i think that in if if you're coming on this video please give some financial advice to spoon's character in comments maybe we can trick the algorithm into treating this video <laughs> like a financial yeah. video yeah. is that yeah. why right, you're right talking some, about some, rate uh, of investment yeah re- return yeah, yeah you know rate yeah. of return he gets uh, into a, a dark uh, corner earnings per share <laughs> on the, on like. a wall that's over a street a wall street i should say with gropsis <laughs> and they sit down and talk about shorting <laughs> iron in hammers yeah. short iron Purchase purchase wheat futures right now. Put stays options. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yep. who or for what, but I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, to to swirl in here, uh, a troop of of jesters, dancers, merrymakers, uh, and common folk are sweeping up and down the hall, and some have come to dance beside you and seem to be, they're not, I mean, you guys are knights and lords. They're not gonna force any of you to dance if you don't want to. But if you wanna join in, they're doing the Amsbury Shuffle, which is actually super popular around this time of year. Uh, I mean, 
I, 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 are we going to ask ourselves if we if we get up and dance poorly? Is the question? Is is does anyone really care? If you care? get up and dance poorly, you would surely not be the only person here dancing poorly. Okay, all right. There could certainly be consequences for being seen <laughs> dancing poorly, but it would not be like shun this this poor dancer. <laughs> Execute him immediately. <laughs> Off with his head. Uh, there I, I can be like, advantages uh, to being seen as foolish or or trying something new. Uh, as uh, much as there uh, can be disadvantages to being bad at courtly behavior. I, I, think, I think it's think definitely Herod something I get up been, and do. Herod has been definitely sampling way too much of that very bitter beer. So <laughs> he's absolutely <laughs> up and dancing. Uh, is that are you doing the Amsbury shuffle or are you what what are we busting here sure yeah the the, the, the shuffle please a dance dance check if you would please I'm, I'm uh, joining in too so we both roll very well where would I find it's a Kend skill it's Kendrick a skill. Will keep skill. Oh, ah, so it is yes. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Ooh. James you rolled a one on a two I, I, yeah I don't I don't dance well but I don't dance poorly <laughs> <laughs> so it should be noted the Amsbury Shuffle is named because um, the father of the Amsbury Abbey tripped during a ceremony recently and as he tried to catch his balance coming down the stairs the rest of his congregation that were behind him imitated him so he wouldn't look foolish and it has come on as a sort of semi-mocking dance move it, you know it's a lot of uh, shuffle step and then you like stop and you catch your balance and you shuffle step with a, a heavy favor on the forward right knee so you say that but i'm definitely picturing the night a night's tale scene where they're doing the i am walkie. trying to do that but i want to be clear we're not at we're not at that point of the party yet we're not at the anachronistic part yet we're still yeah. set solidly <laughs> in nobody's, 485 nobody nobody sung uh we will we will rock you. <laughs> um you failed, and you you failed pretty badly here, Herod. Yeah, yeah. I think that you find yourself um, on either side of you. There are there's a man and a woman, both of them in uh, festive. I wouldn't say they're jesters exactly, but they Jean are Rose. wearing. Sorry, yeah, they're troubadours. Jean they are wearing crowns made of like uh, flowers and like long tunics in a sort of imitation of a casual knight's garb. Uh, and rather than do the, the Amsbury shuffle, they are imitating you on either side of you in a cha-cha line. <laughs> and <laughs> people are clapping. It's not for you, it's for them. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That they are able to so well match your uh, sporadic movements. Uh, for you, Owain, you had already indicated that you were somewhat, I mean, I'm just gonna say it, on the prowl, you're out here trying to talk to the ladies, you have attracted attention twice now, once by actively going out to court someone who is seen as a prize but not particularly well thought of by other ladies, now you're out here showing yourself to be a, I hesitate to say a skilled dancer, but my man rolled a one, so, you know, it, it this may be an untwinnable event, you might never be able to perform this well again <laughs> in your life, but you, it's good, it's good, and you are starting to attract attention from the other set of tables. Uh, how is 21-year-old away not in a relationship reacting to this level of female gaze um look I, I think that that he has already carved out an intention towards the lady elaine so if the opportunity exists to like offer her a hand and see if she would also join the dance like but but in in a way that um uh he's going to try and save face if she rejects it like like she might be busy at the table it's not a case of saying mm -hmm, this, is, this, mm -hmm. is, this is this is a yes or no this is simply a, are you free to dance would you like to join i'm gonna in the same you, way that we were invited them sure i'm gonna give you a choice here if this yeah. is a open pursuit romantically or just politically you can um, flirting it, if it is simply a, a recognition of a friend or acquaintance it's courtesy all right um 
Oh, it's the same either way for me. Um, don't look I, at the I numbers. Think, Pretend the numbers yeah, don't exist. No, but, but so but flirting was the word I had in my mind. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's see what kind of game a Wayne shows up with. A nine mm. needed a fifteen. Ruled much lower than that. Um, you approach the lady Elaine. It is noticed by several people on the way in. Uh, a young woman with a hand fan and three knights around her. Uh, one of them is seated on the ground next to her bench and she's running a hand through his hair as if he's a dog glowers at you she glowers at you and then all three of her knights turn jojo meme style like they all take specific poses to intimidate you as you go past her she doesn't just give you the fan she also gives you a tongue clicking <sighs> as you pass her and go to the lady elaine um uh, lady elaine turns to you and is seemingly flattered. I think she's probably the only one here bold enough to wear red. And uh, she will take your hand and rise. You don't need to re-roll that dance roll. I'm gonna let that one stand. Thank, thank, thank you for that. Uh, you <laughs> I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let you, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna give you flirting, but I am gonna give you a check in dance because it's been so crucial. I don't know that the flirting is mission critical yeah. here, but the dance has been game changing for you. We'll come back to what that situation looks like in a moment, Owain. Uh, Kendrick. Yes. Do you have anything else going on while uh, <clears throat> your friends are both entangled in their dance partners? Um. Uh, so I'm, uh, Kendrick was just kind of sitting back and watching, and mm -hmm. as I, I'd like to, um, uh, so the 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 woman and the three knights, I would like to see if I know or recognize uh, any of them and know who they are, and whether or not um, this is something that Owen needs to be worried about, or if this is just uh, some petty jealousy. I will take a recognize. Sure. Uh, nope, never seen it before in my life. Uh, well, what'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, uh, 16. And you needed a three? Yeah, yeah I needed You a three. don't recognize her or any of her three knights. Nice, yes. for sure. You've never heard of them. Okay. Um, yeah, I think, I think otherwise, uh, Kendrick is just enjoying enjoying the uh, the feast for right now. Okay. Herod, when you pull yourself away from the jack napery of the asses around you, <laughs> you find that you are from the other knights here, probably garnering the most attention, not just because of your dancing antics. There, you are a perceptive person maybe not i wouldn't say well versed in intrigue but you are suspicious by nature and definitely mm -hmm. you recognize that you're being talked about is there a way that i can overhear what's being said i feel like intrigue is one way to do this i'll take other suggestions I'll also take recognize if you want to know where it's coming from. Hmm. I think I could also take something like courtesy. But how would Herod approach this? Uh... <clears throat> I think Herod is being the suspicious man that he is, is going to, to go the intrigue route and uh, perhaps he'll, he'll pigeonhole his, his, uh, his new jocular dance partner and uh, 
it's two partners on either side two of you. Part- oh, but right, yeah, right, right. You want to cooperate with them. Yes, yes. Use them uh, as cover to eaves, drop some eaves. Do you, oh, well, before, I, be, before I look at that result, I see you've rolled, but because I have dark mode on, I can see what was on the left, but I can't see what's on the right. So before I scroll over it and reveal it for myself, are you letting them know that you are using them in this endeavor? No. Okay. Uh, that looks like a massive failure on your part. Massive failure. Massive failure. Absolutely. Massive failure. Absolutely. I, I can't can't buy a Listen, roll if, if we were playing D and D, we'd be doing great. You try to position yourself. You try to get involved in the court leanings. There's too much going on in the background. Too much talking. You're having trouble differentiating between voices. And at some point, your partners take control of this little dance and you find yourself before the troubadour master uh who takes off his hat before you and says ah sir hewitt master gongular (laughs) uh master is a bit of a stretch but i'll take it i have heard that you are a man about court is this correct I do try. Have you ever considered sponsoring a troop? Your Not name until this very could, moment. Your name could be on our lips all across Salisbury, Somerset, Levcomagus, and Silchester. You could be hearing your own name reflected in the commoners all over the place. More importantly, There are few in the land of Britain who transit with news abroad. When we returned to your lands, we could bring you news of what was happening so that you could lay your masterful and very honorable plots and plans. I am intrigued by this. What, uh... What is usually involved in this level of patronage? A small allowance, of course, and the right to use your name for our protection. I'm intrigued, but poor. Yeah. (laughs) That seems to be a common theme. (laughs) What sort of... uh allowance would you be looking for you know what they say if you have to ask you can't afford it my lord (laughs) we are a new troop but as you can see we are quite skilled we simply do not have a master yet a patron we simply would require some small amount of spending to allow us to transit with our wares and our crafts. I'm sure it will all run out in the wash in the end. You'll find that this may be some of the best money you've ever spent. I guarantee it. Will I like the way I look? (laughs) Okay. He's definitely, he's like half that guy's age. I think you'll like how we portray you, yes. There's do- no need to make a decision in the middle of your own party while you're stone drunk. We I can do return like to your the sound of my of my name. So I like the sound of your name as well. Shall we make arrangements to stop by your your manor in but a few days' time when perhaps you are more sober both in health and in mind and in judgment? That is quite agreeable. Very well, then. <clears throat> and he leans in, and he wraps an arm around your shoulder and points out Sir Geraldin and says, and that fellow over there has been staring at you for our entire conversation. Interesting. 
Last Thank episode. you for uh, pointing that out. Sir Owain, I want to make it clear to you that no matter what your pursuit of this woman, she may like you and she may flirt with you. But even at the tender age of 21, you are aware that you are not her only suitor. And she is already famous for being unfaithful. <laughs> you are made keenly aware during this dance with her. When her attention is on you, it feels wondrous. And when it slides to someone you're passing by, it doesn't feel so good anymore, does it? And this is just the first dance. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I mean, certainly, um, a Wayne's impression here. So, I, like, if anything ever develops with Elaine, I can go into further detail, but he has no illusions about what sort of person that she is. Um, th this is about someone that he could potentially have a relationship with that and and provide a, uh, a a manageable marriage but he also understands what he's getting into but for now he's just going through the early stages of a courting and you know like like anything else he's going to have competition in battle he's going to have a competition in love so it's not going to it's not going to stop him i don't i don't think we need to go into any specific things that are said between the two of you but as i mentioned when her attention is on you you feel attended to. And when it is not, you feel like shit. Yeah. And with that flaming whirlwind passing you by, she allows you to choose a new partner as she, too, chooses a new partner for the next dance. Yeah. Where are we at, gang? I don't know if there's more plots and plans to go through here, or if you're okay with... I'm not trying to rush you out of this party. Mm -hmm. But some of you, it seems, may have one foot out the door to go buy a hammer or something. <laughs> I mean, I'm still not clear what's going any, on there. I'm not. I'm not gonna have any money to buy the hammer because okay. I'm gonna give my give my money to Grapsis. Amazing. <clears throat> um, I would like to. So, like, uh, as we're in this this party, go around to some of the um, older. Uh, vassal knights, so older knights with manners, um, you know, and uh, talk with them about, um, you know, estate management, you know, uh, we're all, the three of us are uh, young, single landowners now, uh, and if they have any um, thoughts on stewardship, yeah, or, or, or like uh, any, any daughters that, uh, they may uh, be looking for a match for. When you are asking about matches, do you approach your lord or his lady at any point? Because this would typically be their job to find yeah, matches. Yeah, so I, I mean, I think if if there is an opportunity where Kendrick could approach the, the high table without breaking um, it's your party. Any, any, yeah, any social rules, of yes, course. he would. You would have to wait in line like everyone else. Yeah, but yeah. right. Are you a pro... Let's have this conversation. You are recognized sure. and brought before the two of them. They share bread and salt with you and insist that you try some of the delightful strawberry jam, uh, which has been prepared by Earl Roderick's daughter, Lady Jenna. Very nice. I will, of course, try uh, this wonderful strawberry jam she on the stone. She has forgotten to put any salt in at any point in the cooking. In fact, the jam is barely cohesive. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, wonderful, yes, it's very, very good, very good delicious you you are lying to your lord i am uh yeah for, i'm not you know take a bite and spit it out i am i am being courteous i would like you to make a courteous check okay uh, uh i 
would like to also call out a passion of love, loyalty, Lord. I'm not going to distance his daughter right in front of his face. Please do. Please do. Please make this passion room. Yep. Yep. Okay. I believe it's so, uh, plus, plus five. Plus five. Plus five yeah. yeah. Under the new rules. Although word is six edition is coming out soon, so who knows? So Please I... give yourself a check in both courtesy and prudent. Oh, that's a, that's interesting. Okay. You cover <laughs> your ass here. Mm -hmm. And just to be clear, everyone who has come here knows that it's bad. And probably Earl Roderick doesn't know that it's bad, but Lady Ellen does. And she appreciates that unlike some knights who have come forward so far, mm -hmm. you get through this with a set of grace. Yeah. <clears throat> he leans over the table, looking every part uh, master and commander Jack Aubrey and says, So, Kendrick, what brings you to the table of the great Earl Roderick? Well, my lord, I was um, <clears throat> curious to uh, know your thoughts on uh, how, how quickly I should be looking at getting married. I Immediately, believe, uh, if I had any say about it. Yes, of course. I was wondering if you had any advice on the matter. Have you tried peacocking? I don't believe so, my lord. Uh, how, how would one go about peacocking? Dress nicely, present <laughs> yourself, maybe do a little... Uh, he, he, none of you have a sword in here, just to be clear, but he makes sword fight like... Do a little of this out in the training yard with your shirt out. He like <clears throat> his doublet and he goes, That's how I got my wife away from Sir Blaine's! And everybody in the room is like, Boo! One particular night is just like, Love Comagus sucks! Uh, and the Lady Ellen goes, I'm from Love Comagus. So, <laughs> Sir Baradin. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> of course, my lord, I shall have to give it a try. Uh, but just in case that doesn't work, uh, do you have any... Uh... My boy, it is the field duty of a lord to arrange for a suitable wife for a loyal knight such as yourself. If you would but give me some season's time, I'm sure we can find something. But it would help if you could prove yourself, perhaps in a battle or two. I shall, I shall do my best, my lord. Get a good scar on you. Women love scars. Lady Ellen next to him is just like, it's like... Don't. be huge, massive, over an eye. Now, don't damage the eye. Just it looks good. So I, I have a question of system versus roleplay here. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So, so normally, like within within the context, if if your lord picks a match for you, it yes. is. A, a grave dishonor to to reject that match correct um likewise in the winner phase system there's a role you can make to try and find a match which includes negotiating with your lord but if you if you roll successfully you can choose to wait to the following year and get a, a bonus yep. on the roll the following year all true that's so, what i'm trying to imply here okay yeah so i, I was going to ask was you know um so so, it, so spoon hasn't played this out and had suddenly had the lord say okay well you, you've been matched with blah so if if we plan to make that role in the winter phase do you want to do that scene here now because this is the right time to do it or like you said he needs some seasons to find the match yeah okay yeah and you know negotiate with the the fathers with, yeah and... for a nice dowry you know <clears throat> yeah. gotta get those dowries in there right um you have attracted some attention, Kendrick, with your boldness in this, from mm -hmm. one of Lady Ellen's handmaids. Okay. Not her first handmaid, but her second okay. handmaid. Yeah. She is a very pretty young woman. Okay. But you can tell that the people around her, just on a basic look here, seem to treat her like she's a ghost. Hmm. No one makes direct eye contact or references her except for Lady Ellen. Uh, I will introduce myself to her. Excellent. So good. Uh, uh, courtesy, perhaps? Sure. And what do you say? Uh, I say, 
um, something along the lines of, uh, you know, are, are you enjoying the feast, uh, my lady? Courtesy. Ooh, bad. Mm. Not good. One of my rolls. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, you, you say that, and she turns and looks and says, oh, my goodness, I wasn't paying attention. What did you say? My, my deep apologies, sir. Owen? Uh, Kendrick, my lady. Kendrick. Although, although I can understand how uh, you might get uh, either of the three of us confused. She didn't say Owen. She said Owen. Uh, Owen. Oh, okay. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, sir, sir Kendrick, my lady. I am Lady Guiona, second handmaid to the Countess. Um... I want to give you a, a room temperature read right here. You just yeah, yeah. went to your lord, and uh -huh. we're like, I'd like to get a marriage soon. Then you go and you talk to one of his wife's handmaids. He's like, yeah, okay. I like this. This is bold. Lady Ellen is like mixed temperature here. Like, mm -hmm. I could go for this, but there's definitely more going on with her handmaid than what sure. you know. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of the room is is looking at you like this guy is gonna fucking die. They have written <laughs> you off. I'm, you think okay. I'm joking? Like yeah, yeah. anyone that is within earshot is just like this dude is dead. Like you can see someone making the sign of the cross on your behalf. Hmm. I will uh, try and gracefully extract myself from the conversation. And now that I've, uh, uh, you know. Lady Quirinus, I stay on you for a bit. Every time you turn to look back around, shh, as you get further away from her, she has a sort of ethereal sort of blending into the background. By the time you've made it to the end of the table, even though you know she's looking at you, you can barely make her out. <laughs> hmm, okay, interesting, interesting. Harad, what's going on with you at this party? Nothing is is a correct answer as well. If you have nothing else to put forward, no. At the, at this point, Harad is is just going back to uh, drinking and dancing badly. Well, now that you've danced badly, the good alcohol makes its way down to you. <laughs> Owen. Um, yeah, so Wayne's trying not to overindulge here. Like, I don't want to get drunk, even though I, I, I'll drink it to the map, but I, I also don't want to make an ass of myself on my first night as a knight. Um, I think that probably what he does do, though, out of a bit of pride, is once um, Elaine passes him on, he will flirt with other women. It, it, like, so if we end up in one of those sort of like like dancing rounds where mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. go from partner to partner, you know, yes, yes will, that's exactly yeah. what's happening. Yeah, that's right. He he will definitely try to flirt um, uh, casually. No, yeah, like like uh, with, with no expectation or or, or, uh, or anything else. But just um, may, I guess a to boost himself up to feel like he's still got it, and b probably a little bit to try and um, give Elaine the impression that you know he is uh, not not that distressed by her uh, casual displays of affection. Okay. When in reality, it probably is. <laughs> because I, I'm I was distressed 20, by I, it. I, I, I was 21 years old once, so. <laughs> I think we all were, really. Yeah. All yeah. of us here at this table, right here, right now. Maybe not the audience, but. Yeah. Um, is there any checks or, uh, like, for instance, Harad, if you wanted to ask me for a a check in indulgent, I feel like that would be reasonable. But is there a check anyone was aiming for that I didn't specifically vocalize? Yeah, I would make a check in indulgence. Let's Please, see if I can buy a roll tonight. No, no, I I just mean you've you've role played yourself as being indulgent. If you yeah. feel like you want to put a oh, check okay. mark in it to oh, mark okay, that okay. you got experience in it, excellent. Perfect. Uh, let's get to Kendrick and Harad's business then. Kendrick, you want to have a meeting with Gropsis? 
Yes, I believe. Um, <clears throat> last time I told him I was going to meet him uh, the the day following my uh, nighting. He <laughs> meets you around noon, and it takes you around uh, Serum for like uh, a roaming lunch. Okay. Like you get, you stop at one place and you pick up a plate of. You you start with plates and you get like beans from one cart put on your plate and then you keep going and you get like a bit of bread and then like you get a drink, you clean the plate off somewhere, you go to the bathroom, you're still walking and talking. Gropsis is outlining if you're like, before you even say whether you're interested or not, he's telling you about previous trips that he's done and the kind of pulls that he's had um, and that uh, he has, like, exclusive roots, uh, uh, proprietary information about the best gamblers and those who like to borrow money uh, throughout France. Okay. Um, yeah, Although he doesn't call it lunch. France, I think he probably calls it, calls it uh, Frankia or Gaul, yeah, probably Gaul. Gaul, um, Gaul or Brittany? Uh, Brittany is is a very small the, northwest part of the yeah, the, the, the continent. This time. Yeah, the, the uh, continent. Well, I mean, the continent refers to a very large area, and he's know, only know, but, he's only talking yeah. about France. But okay, British people, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I love Britain's insistence that it isn't part of Europe. It's insane to me. It would be like saying, I don't know, like Bermuda isn't part of North America or something. Um, yeah, so I think, uh, you know, uh, at, at the end of this conversation, um, I will tell him that I've, I have decided to invest in your venture. Um, and I'll like pull out a, a, a small bag of coins and hand it over to him. Uh, how much is in it? Uh, one, one Libra worth of money. Very well. Uh, he takes you to a contractor, uh, to write out a one Libra contract of... Now there's no promises here, just to be sure. Clear. Yeah. He's not promising, but the date, the people are noted, your house, um, he is putting up his cart as coll collateral. So like, if he fails to return, he will be considered a criminal in this county and be under the justice of Ill Roderick and owe his cart back. Um, he, you know, clinks through some coins and then shakes hands with you, uses the contract, you know, to salute you and says, Kendrick, you won't, you won't regret this. I, I look forward to seeing you in a few years time, Gropsis. <clears throat> he begins whistling a jaunty tune as he, he his wagon, uh, sorry, his cart and his uh, horn. Oh my goodness, I'm dying. <laughs> I was doing this today during my other recording. Uh, the three of them, the cart, the horse, and the owner, all make their way south. <clears throat> the Probably what you're noticing is that he's got like a big book of, of debts. And then when you look in the cart, you realize that the cart is like 90% logbook of deaths. <laughs> You're probably not the only person he's taken money from. It's definitely a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> as long as you're early, you should be fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, all I have to do is get uh, get six other knights to loan, to, to that's loan not a, me a... That's a not a Ponzi out. scheme. That's a pyramid scheme, for sure. Yeah. No, it's, we, it's, it's, it's all it's, a scam. It's a Ponzi scheme if you go and tell people how about how, how good this investment is and get them to invest ah, in as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No uh, financial but that, that doesn't get me anything though. <laughs> well, it does because <laughs> he, he he pays you back so that you keep mm, talking yeah. about. That's how a Ponzi scheme works. You pay your early yeah, investors yeah. out so they they spruik it. Not that I'm advocating Ponzi schemes, but if you want to know Please more, don't. just. Please don't. <laughs> More financial <laughs> advice. Uh, Herod. Yes. 
Could, could you remind me, as I've been trying to find it in the manual, what, what our starting monetary situation is? I think it's not much. Oh. Nothing. Yeah, it's if yeah, it's, it's nothing unless you uh, rolled it on the uh, belongings chart. But the great part about being a lord is that you do have money in so far as your name and your credit. Things that have no tangible value have tangible value to a banker or to your lord who may pay someone to hide your mistakes and go away and then hold you responsible for it. Mm. You can front the credit of your name to these individuals. I see. What does the honor of your house mean to you? No, that was a serious question. What does the honor of your house mean to you? Are you going um, to loan them? I'd say that he probably doesn't have as strong of a of a feeling of it, since you know everyone in his family was pretty much dead before he uh, before he was was born. Interesting. The great news for you is that while you and I may not feel very attached to it. The troop of 12 troubadours here mm -hmm. believe that they can get a, a lot done based on your name and your credit. If you would just sign this document, giving them uh, rights to use your name and your emblem, allowing them to enter into a, a service. The service isn't really outlined very well in the document. It's a... As previously, as per our previous email, <laughs> I mean, he, he can't, he can't, none of us can read anyway. So it's uh... Uh, uh, actually, uh, actually, Herod can. Oh, you took reading, okay? Uh, yes, I took. I've got ten, ten ranks in Latin. <laughs> oh shit, you can read very well then. Yeah. Um, this contract is vague. That may be intentional. The things that they're asking from you are intangible, and the benefits they give you. You probably don't want to write down anywhere. Mm, mm -hmm. Well, gentlemen, uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, about what I can expect out of our relationship. As so, a patron of the arts. The the master of the troop introduces himself as Andre the Younger. Andre the Younger. Yes. He uh will outline, but not in the contract. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that his uh dazzling dancers and himself haven't done it yet, but plan to transit Salisbury, uh. Silchester, uh, uh, Clarence, Godchester, just walk the King's Road up and down, um, making merry, going to small towns, making their pay through performances. Your name will be on their lips, talking about your great deeds, uh, mentioning your house. Um, in return, they will absorb information from the locals and do their best not to embarrass you. Um, when they complete their transit back to the end of the road, Salisbury, they'll stop in and give you whatever information they've gathered and then make their way again. Uh, of course, such a life has unknown costs and they would like your name as credit to cover any wagon accidents, broken wheel spurs, horse repair, that sort of thing. Uh, I also, think the key part is that, that I think inns don't exist yet at this point in time, so correct. you have to rely upon households to take you in, and if, you, if you're if a jungle or a troop traveling under the name of a knight, you can effectively claim that knight's hospitality to ask yes. a, 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 a house owner to put you so up. So someone like a headsman or a mayor may turn over their house to them that they would not 
for someone who does not have the protection of a knight or lord. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is, is that they could scare away bandits simply by invoking your name. Right, right. Uh, I think Herod says, uh, well, one, one other uh, thing that I'd love for you to be on the lookout for, should you, uh, across your travels, find someone that you think would uh, be suitable for me to pay court to at some point, put in a good word and... Bring the names back to me when you do come back this way. You are now surrounded by 12 people who have encircled you. And there is a question. What's your type? Man? Woman? You know? Hair, hair mm -hmm. preference? Curvature levels? You know, are you into romance? Do you like it rough? Like, there, there is a gamut of <laughs> of common it you have walked into a chat room and said hey i'm mm -hmm. looking <laughs> uh -huh, you've uh -huh. a you've asl'd them and they yes. are <laughs> yes <laughs> gentlemen i'm sorry i i think i think we got the wrong end of the stick here uh, looking for um someone of my station as opposed to just a roll in the hay Everyone quiets down when Andre the Younger claps his hands and does this, and he says, My lord, it is a unspoken benefit that we as troubadours are skilled in the field of romance. It may not have been a craze that has crossed this merry island, but word comes from afar from the continent that those who live in the northwestern area that is either Brittany or Gaul or whatever we call the French at this time are crazy for it. And those crazes may cross the channel. Our question still so stand, though. What are you into? You know, finding someone for your station may be difficult, but not impossible. But is there something in particular you're looking for? For the future, I need heirs. All right, everybody's just like, shh, this guy, it's just, he just wants to have sex with somebody. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I need uh, to continue my house and my line. Andre just, yeah, I understand, yeah. my lord. I apologize. We're, as I said, we are experts in the field of romance. Your practicality is a surprise to common folks such as us. I were more common and could uh, had had fewer responsibilities than well, that would be a different story. He nods sadly as uh, they. Simply wait to see if you will sign this contract. Uh, or it does. And I feel like with that, we will part. And when we return, we find ourselves not in the court of Earl Roderick, but in the court of Uther, King of Logris, and thus most but not all of Britain. We'll see you in about three minutes. <laughs>